But first, a deadly strain of bird flu is making its way across the country, killing millions of birds. It was just detected here in the Bay Area, so now local zoos and other groups, they're taking precautions. 10 Tampa Bay's Eric Glasser takes a look at what they're doing and what you need to know if you have birds of your own that might need some protection. At Zoo Tampa, visitors might notice signs like this one, letting them know some aviaries and bird exhibits are closed right now. A precaution against a deadly strain of avian influenza that's killed millions of birds around the country. We have no cases at the zoo in our zoo birds, but the minute we heard that there was a case in Hills Hillsborough County in a wild bird, we enacted the next phase of our, we have a whole phase plan of how to respond to this. I would have loved to have seen some of those species Day, but I know that it's important to conserve them for future. Zoo Tampa cares for just over 300 individual birds. So as soon as they heard about a confirmed case of bird flu in Hillsborough County, they began a species by species assessment, determining which birds need to be moved for safety and which ones could remain on display. And you know, it's no small feat catching up a whole bunch of birds and moving them. Everybody did fine with the moves. We didn't have any problems and they're all doing really well so far. The Eurasian H5 flu strain has not been an issue for humans, but in birds, it's been highly contagious and deadly. That's got folks in Lakeland very concerned. Unlike zoos, the city has no way of housing and safeguarding its iconic swans for very long, and the swans come in contact with wild birds every day. So far, they haven't lost any, but they are worried. You know, it's a big part of this community, and we definitely don't want anything to happen at all. As for your own pet birds, from parrots to chickens, they too are susceptible to the same avian flu. So veterinarians suggest not bringing any new birds into your home, at least not now. And don't allow your pet birds outside, even if they're securely caged, without supervision. Owners need to watch and make sure to keep wild birds and other animals away from them. It's not clear yet just how long this round of avian flu will last, but usually it co coincides with the northerly migration, which can last several weeks. Right now, there is no known vaccine to help the birds fight off H5N1. So it is especially important, says veterinarians, to protect your feathered friends.